It's a new school term and students are returning to school. It is also when some students in their final grade of high school are beginning to consider their options and apply to colleges. While this should be an exciting time, the application process presents many challenges for prospective undergraduates. In addition to this, getting acclimated to a new environment is quite difficult. Lucky for us, there are student recruiters that can assist with this process. Dale Morton, a national of St. Kitts and Nevis, is a student recruiter and extension agent at the University of the Virgin Islands. He recruits new students for graduate or undergraduate programs, and during his interview, he will tell us what his duties entail. In addition, in his capacity as, as extension agent, he develops and delivers educational programs for the School of Agriculture. Mr. Morton, it is indeed an honor to welcome you to Good Morning SKN as we begin this Connections segment. How are you doing, sir? Thank you. All right, glad to hear it. So we're talking today about recruitment, and obviously that is what you do for the Virgin Islands. We want to know if there are certain Caribbean islands that are identified as recruitment areas for the UVI, or do you just do it generally? Okay. Good morning, everyone. I do it generally. And why I say generally is because I am always pushing UVI to anybody I speak with because it is a fantastic university. And I don't think people really appreciate the significance that the university has done in its um, near 60 years of existence. Wow. And so I have always been pushing it. I learned about it from my cousin, um, Dr. Azzi Leibard, who is there in St. Kitts right now still. And um, he sold my father on it. And um, that's how I came to CBI in 1979 to pursue my bachelor's in biology. And so we try to recruit from everywhere. We have students from as far as north as Alaska. Wow. And we have had students from, um, we've had students from some African countries and so forth. So we get students like let's say from all over and our students go all over too because we have study um, abroad programs and uh, a Kittishan national, his mother and grandmother, his grandmother actually worked with my parents. And so when she, when the daughter was um, planning to send her son to college, we spoke at an agriculture fair on the St. Croix grounds, and I told her about the engineering program at, at UBI. I told her it's a three-year, two-year program. We have an association with three different universities, the University of South Florida, University of Florida, and Cornell University, where our students start at UBI. They do three years. And they transfer to one of those three universities, spend two years, and they end up with their bachelor's in applied mathematics from UVI and a bachelor of science in engineering from either one of those three schools. And this young man, he is finishing up this year at the University of South Florida. And he spent a whole semester going to school in Denmark. So we have, have many, many opportunities for, for, for students. I have been assigned the student recruiter as an additional responsibility because my main job really is being an extension agent. And as a recruiter, I, I regard it as just formally recognizing what I have been doing for many, many years, for over two decades, actually. And so... I gladly accepted that um, additional responsibility, especially since it came with a 12% um, salary increase. So I was very, <laughs> very quick to take that opportunity. Has the process changed since the pandemic? Well, yes, because all of our recruiting efforts are now by 
Zoom and, and Teams and so forth. So we are not getting a chance really to go out and talk to individuals um, face to face, but it has also allowed us an opportunity to reach, in a sense, more people because we have been doing virtual presentations and we are now doing more um, contacting more people by, by internet and so forth. Even our brochure for the School of Agriculture, which is the main area I'm recruiting for, mm -hmm. we have had to develop an electronic brochure and we send out, and I put it on my personal Facebook page. I also put it on the School of Agriculture Facebook page and um, the university's Facebook page also has it um, going. So like I said, I mainly recruit for officially for the University of the Virgin Islands School of Agriculture. Mm -hmm. um, and that is because the, the School of Agriculture is the newest school or college at the University of the Virgin Islands. Many years ago, in the, in the, in the early 80s, up until maybe like um, the early part of the 90s, the university had an agricultural program under the division of maths and science. Mm -hmm. It went dormant because there weren't enough students um, applying and staying in the program. So many, many a new student will start and they drop out. And the, 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 eventually the administration made the program dormant. But within the last four to five years, there has been a resurgence and a push from the legislature of the Virgin Islands, which um, funds um, the public part of the university. And when I say the public part, the, the university is a land grant institution. And so as a result of that, it gets certain monies from the federal government because we are a land grant institution. We also get certain sum of money allocated every year from the legislature of the Virgin Islands. And so because they give the money, the legislatures, which are senators, the persons elected by the general public, they try to push what the general public is also advocating for. Mm. So um, like I said, about five years ago, they came to the university at the same time when the university was thinking about re-establishing the programs in agriculture and actually expanding them to what we have now. And so at present, we have three certificate programs in the agricultural area and two associates in agriculture, applied science in the agricultural area. The two applied sciences degrees are in horticulture and mm -hmm. agro ecology. Now, one of the reasons why persons in St. Kitts have not heard me reach out to them as yet is because those were just approved nearly at the end of last semester. And so we are just formally beginning the classes in that area. And while we had the three, two out of the three certificates approved beforehand, we couldn't really advertise it in St. Kitts Nevis because a student cannot come to the University of the Virgin Islands to pursue a certificate program. They can only come to pursue associates um, or bachelor's or master's or the PhD degree to come to UVI. So um, we have really now just started launching the promotion for um, the School of Agriculture, since we now have two approved associates in applied science degrees. The okay. plan is hopefully by the March meeting, mm -hmm. we'll have some additional ones approved and we may even have um, a bachelor's one approved as well. Okay, that's wonderful. And as the daughter of a farmer, I'm really excited to hear, I mean, the rebirth of, you know, the education um, for agriculture at UVI. And unfortunately, we've run out of time. I've had, I had so many questions to ask you, but just before we go, can you tell me how 
people maintain their connections with St. Kitts while they are at UVI? Okay, but the, but the students from the students who come here from St. Kitts, um, they have the St. Kitts Navy Student Association. Oh, wonderful. I am I am a loose member in the fact loose. that well, I attend <laughs> I attend their activities. I do not attend their meetings. I, I I am meeting out because of my 38 years of association with the university. Too many meetings. So, but <laughs> I, I, I go to all of the activities so I get to know the students and I make myself available to help and assist all students, but especially those who are from St. Kitts Nevis and the BBI to make sure that they are comfortable, steer them in the right direction, um, hook them up with the right people, because of my 38 years of working, I know every single person um, from the custodian and grounds people right up to the president and so forth. All of them know me. And so I get a lot of things done and I make that um, connection available to any student. So I'm able to guide them and, 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 and okay. steer them in the right direction.